Good morning. We are at the oh so gorgeous Paramount Theater to hear about some really cool upcoming events from one of the film programmers, Stephen Janice. Good to see you, Stephen. Good to see you too. Thank you for sharing the stage with us. Oh, absolutely. Anytime. So can you tell us about some of the cool events? It sounds like it's kicking off this Wednesday. Yeah, so this Wednesday we're kicking off what we're calling the Paramount 100, a century of cinema, which we're having our 100th birthday next year in 2015. And Happy so, almost birthday to you, you guys. Thank you very much. And so I want to do like a simultaneous celebration of the movies where we kind of chronologically start in the very beginning and work our way through to the present. And I figured that might take a year and a half, so why not start now? That's a good chunk of time. I think so, yeah. <laughs> I think if you, you know, do a decade every couple of months, then you're, okay, you're on track. Um, so we're going to start this Wednesday with uh, what we're calling like a Nickelodeon night, basically, where we're going to turn the Paramount into a Nickelodeon. And explain what a Nickelodeon is, just in case you're thinking of the kids' channel. Just <laughs> right. clarify, please. Yes, which if you Google it, that's probably what you get. Um, but Nickelodeon was basically the beginning of cinema when they used to have really short, silent movies that ran for like a minute or two minutes each. Uh, you could go to a cinema and you'd pay a nickel to get in, and then you could just kind of sit in the, in the theater for as long as you wanted and just keep watching those movies like playing in a loop over and over again. So we're going to play some of those really short movies. And you can pay a nickel and you can come and go in and out of the theater, hang out in the lobby or whatever. The name so a, fitting. Got exactly. it. Exactly. So this theater, built in 1915, obviously was after that era. Mm -hmm. And this is more of the historic, majestic movie palace type era. But we're going to turn it into Nickelodeon for just one night. Just one night. Yeah. Very cool. And so that starts this week. And then you're going to go every month until your birthday. Yeah, exactly. So I think we're going to try to hopefully average about one screening a week. Um, this first one's on Wednesday. The next one will be next Wednesday, D.W. Griffith's Intolerance. And uh, just going to keep working our way through. We'll have the 30s in April and May, the 40s in June and July, so forth and so on. That is so cool. And then celebrating your 100th birthday, that's a pretty big milestone. Yeah, and I think, you know, it's going to go beyond just the film. You know, we do so many things here at the Paramount live shows, music, and all that kind of thing. So uh, when 2015 finally does roll around, we're going to have tons of celebrations here and the film thing is just one of those. That sounds really, really special. Yeah. And, you know, the Paramount is such a unique venue to see shows. Kind of what sticks out just if someone hasn't been here yet, what's unique about this viewing experience that would make them want to come here? Well, you know, I think when you've obviously when you've been to like a Regal or an AMC, one of those chain theaters, you've kind of seen them all. And uh, this theater, you know, it's more than watching like Turner Classic movies at home or whatever. It really brings you back to the time when these movies actually premiered. It takes I mean, you back. Exactly. A movie like Gone with the Wind would have shown here in its original run and so you know with the curtain and the big screen and the old sort of art all over the room it's like uh, an experience that you can't have anywhere else. Agree to agree that's really really special and what about you personally is there a show you're most looking forward to? Uh, you know I'm really looking forward to we're doing a double feature of a Charlie Chaplin movie and a Harold Lloyd movie here uh, the Char Chaplin movie is called The Kid and it was his first sort of big feature length debut and it's one of his sort of hallmarks where he makes you laugh and laugh and laugh and then suddenly you find yourself crying. And uh, that's one of the amazing things about Charlie Chaplin is he could do both as well as anybody that's else. An emotional roller coaster exactly. right there. Exactly, yeah. And then Harold Lloyd is sort of one of the silent comedians who doesn't get talked about quite as often, but this movie we're showing, Safety Last, is the one where he's, you may have seen, he's dangling from a clock tower like way high above the streets. And he's just one of those guys that took lots of risks you know, in his comedy and doing lots of slapstick. And so that's one I think not a lot of people have seen, but it'll mm -hmm. be great to see it in here. Very cool. He's an innovator. Awesome. Yeah. And so Wednesday night, tell us one more time, kind of just details, how you get tickets. Sure. Yeah, so happening? Wednesday, January 29th, this Wednesday, uh, you won't be able to buy tickets online because who wants to charge a nickel to your credit card? Right, so you, just so you can <laughs> show up. <laughs> you yeah. show up here with your nickel and come on in, and we'll be running films for about two hours or so, and uh, just drop your nickel in the box and enjoy yourself. Super, super cool. Yeah. Thank you, Stephen. All right, you heard him. Wednesday, get over here, one nickel and movies all night. That's right. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you.